Welcome back fellow coding facilitators, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways that you can make it look like a sprite is changing costumes or interacting with the background in Scratch Jr. Okay, so in our a Day at the Beach project, we have two backdrops that are essentially the same thing. So backdrop two and backdrop three. Now the only difference is this surfboard. So we see a surfboard right here. And in the second backdrop, that surfboard is actually gone. Now, what's actually happening is um, it's transitioning from scene two to scene three immediately. So let me show you how it's doing that. So green flag, we have our cat appear, starts talking. And notice how we have the sprites moving around in the background. And then once it gets all the way through this and the cat moves up, it's going to switch the backdrop. Now, when it switches backdrop, you're going to see that we now actually have a surfing cat sprite that has the surfboard on it. So this made it look like it was um, actually changing the costume. Um, but really what we were doing is we're going from one page to a completely different page that had a different sprite on it, the surfing cat. So all I had to do was just go in and erase that surfboard that was on there. Now this is complicated because we have to make sure that anything that's moving in the background, like the cloud or like the um, bird that's right here, um, needs to be lined up. So this is kind of a difficult way to switch costumes. But let me show you another way that's actually even easier. So in the final page of this, it has our transition overlay at the very beginning. And we have our surfboard cat who's gonna move and then the surfboard cat disappears and we have scratch cat appear right on top. So let me show you how that's working. So it starts with our surfing cat and the surfing cat moves down and then the surfing cat disappears when we do the red message. And when the other cat receives a red message, it's standing in the exact same spot as a surfing cat. And so it appears with a separate sprite as a surfing board. So this essentially makes it so that there are three separate costumes that are kind of transitioning here that um, make it look like the cat gets off the surfboard. So it's the surfing um, cat sprite right here. And then as soon as it gets down there, the surfing cat hides, you can see the little fade and the cat and surfboard appear. So if you want to do this with some of the coders that you work with, you just need to make sure that your sprites are all lined up where you want them to be and you show the sprites that you want to switch to the new costume, and then you hide the previous costume sprites. All right, so that's two options for how you can change costumes. One of them is a little bit harder. You have to make sure everything lines up, switching from one backdrop to the next. And then the other option is to actually use different sprites that show and hide um, in the exact same location. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.